according according to each man's need so please don't criticize me when you see me driving a brand new Range Rover it's my level of need shall I continue verse number 5 your lamb shall be without blemish it's talking about Jesus a male of the first year you, you may take it from the sheep or from the goats. Don't take it from outside the house. Take it from among the sheep. Because he has to be one among you. He has to be a kingsman redeemer. He cannot deliver you. Unless he understands your pain. That is why he is touched by the feeling of your infirmity. Because whatever it is you are going through. He went through it. I say he went through it. That is why he had to come and be like us. He didn't send an angel. So that when we cry out and say, Lord have mercy. He can tell the father, please, I feel their pain. Do you realize that before Jesus came, came, there was no human in the divinity. But when Jesus rose on the third day and ascended to heaven, now humanity is represented in divinity. I don't know who I'm talking to because the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, died, rose again and is seated on the right hand side of the father. When you make your cry, your advocate, Jesus, he feels your pain. He understands your tears. Your pastor may not be there. Your bishop may not be there. But all you need to do is to cry out, Jesus. And when you cry out, he is already there waiting to minister to you. Can I get a yes? Now you shall keep it. He says you shall take it on the 10th day. But you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. Uh, you take it on the 10th day. But you keep it until the 14th day. Pastor Caro, why keep it for 4 days? I will tell you. The Bible says in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3. That a day is like a thousand years with the Lord. And a thousand years is like a day with the Lord. Why 4 days? Because from the time when Adam fell. To the time when Jesus. Jesus came and died at the cross of Calvary was exactly 4,000 years. It was exactly four days before from the time when Adam fell to the time when the second Adam brought us salvation. It was exactly four days. So what God was saying is this. Select the lamb on the tenth day. Wait for four days. What was he saying? I chose the lamb when Adam fell. I've just been waiting for four days. But now on the fourth day, you couldn't hold back my sacrifice is there somebody who is listening to what I'm saying here today and then he says in verse number 7 uh, come on sit down baby he says and they shall take the blood uh, you take you kill it uh, at twilight when is twilight twilight is in the evening uh, he says in the evening kill it uh, when you kill it in the evening take the blood I'm an take the blood put it on the two doorposts uh, and on the lintel in the house when you where you shall eat. Then you shall eat of the flesh at night roasted with fire, roasted with fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Why unleavened bread? Because leaven talks about sin. So he was talk saying remove all the sin from your house. Bitter herbs talks about the bitterness of 400 years of captivity. He wanted them to remember the 400 years that they were in captivity. Verse number 9 he says do not eat it raw or boiled at all with water but it must be roasted with fire why must it be roasted with fire because at the cross of Calvary Jesus was roasted with fire that is to say he went through the pain he went through anguish he went through every kind of suffering that he could go through that is why when they were instituting God was instituting the Passover in Exodus he wanted them to roast the lamb with fire so that they can be a memorial or a shadow of what will happen at the cross. He went through every pain, every shame, every reproach that he could go through. And the Bible says its head and its legs and its entrails. Verse number 10. You shall not, you shall let none of it remain until morning. And what remains of it until morning, you shall burn it with fire. What was he saying? You don't eat half the lamb. You don't eat a quarter of the lamb. You have to take the 
entire lamb. What it is saying when it comes to salvation. Don't just take the bit that you like and leave the rest out of it. You must be a partaker of everything in salvation. Take the preservation. Let it work for you. Take the protection. Let it work for you. Take the prosperity. Let it work for you. Take the deliverance. Take the healing. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more to this thing uh, than just coming out of Egypt. Uh, so what you are saying is this. Uh, there is going to be more. So take the entire lamb. Uh, verse number 11. You shall eat it. Uh, when you eat it, make sure that you have a belt on your waist uh, and sandals on your feet uh, and a staff on your hand uh, because you shall eat it in haste. Uh, it is the Lord's Passover. Why were they going to wear a belt and have shoes? Uh, because when it's time to come out, I said when it's time to come out, that is not a time you invite your friends. That is not a time that you have your party. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I sense today is your day of coming out. That is why God brought you to the house of God. It is not a time for you to be nice. Don't look around for people to approve you coming out. If you're coming out, come out, baby. Let them see you coming out. And I want to announce to somebody here, your day of coming out is nigh and is here today. The way you came here this morning is not the way you're going back home. You are going back home with a testimony. Somebody shout yeah. Give your neighbor a high five and tell them I'm coming out baby. <coughs> Verse number 12. Phew. Verse 11 is the lost pass over. Verse number 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt Whew. on that night and I will strike the firstborn of the land of Egypt both man and, and beast and against write this down or check this out all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment I am the Lord do you realize that all the nine miracles, including the tenth one, was going against a God in Egypt? And by the time when God was performing the tenth miracle, all the ten gods of Egypt had been completely destroyed. Because when God dealt with Egypt, he did just bring out his children, but he also destroyed the worship of Egypt. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Because when God brings you out, He just doesn't bring you, just bring you out. But He ensures that any altar, any demonic covenant, any agreement that was made against your destiny is properly destroyed. So that when you come out, there is nothing from your past that is coming to haunt your future. I don't know who I'm talking to, but whoever went wherever. They shall not succeed. There is an execution of every, and let me announce to every politician that has gone and made covenants with the spirits of darkness. I stand as a man of God to decree and declare that every covenant that has been made in secret, we nullify it in the name of Jesus. We decree that no altar that has been erected against the will of God in this nation shall prevail. We silence every altar. We silence every covenant. We silence every demonic spirit from the pit of hell. We silence you in the name of Jesus. Every altar that is demanding blood, there is only one blood that was shed 2,000 years. And we decree that blood speaks over this country. Give God a crazy praise in the house of God. Every altar, every sh shrine that has been visited, covenants that have been made, we silence them in the name of Jesus. We nullify them in the name of Jesus. And we say that any demand of blood after the August election today, we say we silence you in the name of Jesus. And we speak peace over this land. Peace over this nation. Somebody say amen. 
Verse number 13. Woo! Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. <laughs> and he says, when I see I'm talking about designing the Lord's body. When I see the blood, I shall pass over you. Where there was supposed to be an execution. Where there was supposed to be death. Where there was supposed to be judgment. Jehovah says, when I see the blood, I shall pass over. And I want to announce in Zion that by the blood of Jesus, you shall be preserved until a good old age. By reason of the blood, the Lord shall watch over you. The Lord shall keep you on the highways. The Lord shall keep you on the byways. I decree that none of you shall die before for their time when God sees the blood the angel of death shall pass over you I come against premature death I decree the blood the blood on the highway the blood of Jesus on your home the blood of Jesus keeping your children the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood I decree that as my son drives from Nanyuki, the blood all the way from Nanyuki to Nairobi. And any one of you that your relatives is driving today, we speak the blood. This coming week, the blood. This coming August, the blood. The blood of Jesus. Not the blood of goats. Not the blood of animals. But the blood of Jesus. We nullify every covenant. We nullify every treaty. We come against every demonic demand. Against the people of Kenya. We decree the blood. The blood of Jesus. That was shed on the cross of Calvary. Somebody shout the blood. The blood. The blood over this country. The blood over this nation. The blood over your life. The blood over your destiny. Somebody shout the blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. What am I talking about? Partake of the lamb. Eat of it. When you eat of it, what shall happen? Your body shall be strong. You shall walk in the wilderness and you shall not faint. He says, eat the lamb. Don't let anything be left behind because the journey is going to be long. And today as you partake of the communion and as you partake of the bread, I am announcing in the name of Jesus that you shall be strong for the journey. You shall not give up in the middle of the journey. I seek God giving you strength and God renewing your strength. Some of you have felt like giving up. But I decree and declare that by reason of partaking of the body, you are receiving strength. I say you are receiving strength. Strength for a new day. Strength to overcome. Strength to go through the journey. If you have felt like giving up, I want you to stand up on your feet because today there is strength that is coming your way. Hey, lift up your hands everybody because there is strength you are not giving up, you are not quitting stand up on your feet, raise your hands come and help me here when you partake of the lamb you shall begin to have strength to be able to walk through this journey the lamb gives you strength, come on lift up your hands everybody, some of you have been feeling weak, but as you stand right Right now, and as you pray, I speak strength. I speak strength. I speak strength. I speak strength. Come on, pray. Pray, 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 pray. 
Palia Kanama Zeka Telega, Loro Polia Kanama Zeka Talabakai, Lanto Palia Kanama Zeka Tokolebakai, Lario Posa Cantalia Kanamazaya, or Lamo Sambaki, designing the Lord's Lord of Pogia, like as you protect Kanamazai, like the Palia Kanama Zeka Talabakai, Lago Posia Catalaba Kanamazaya, as you protect the Shadi, we speak strength, 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 come on pray the Holy Ghost, pray the Spirit, In the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. The lamb, the body, eat of the lamb and let the meat of the lamb give you strength. For the journey that is ahead of you. Then he says the blood. Is for your protection. For when I see the blood. I shall pass over you. So when we come to the communion table. And we are designing the Lord's body Dixon. As we partake. Of the body. As we partake of the bread. We remember the lamb. And this amazing thing, Pastor Moneki, is that when Jesus was in the upper room on that day, they did not kill a lamb because he was the lamb. So they didn't need to kill the lamb. But yet the lamb was instituting his own sacrifice that was going to be happening the same evening. Because what you don't realize is this. Is that the Sunday. That Sunday was the 10th day of the Passover feast. When the lambs were taken to the temple. For the priest to inspect the lamb. That was exactly to the day. When Jesus rode on a donkey. And came through the gate of Jerusalem. And they were laying their coats. And saying Hosanna to the Lamb. And they were saying Hosanna to the King. As he was entering Jerusalem that day. And they were singing. They were holding a lamb under their, under their armpit. Going to see the priest. But they did not realize that the lamb that was going to take the sin of the world was actually entering into the gates of Jerusalem. And this is the amazing thing, honey. And actually, even the Jewish people today fight it. My God, I wish I had time. When you look at the prophecy of Daniel, in Daniel chapter number 9, where he says about the 49 weeks 
that shall come for the coming of the Messiah. It was exactly to the day when Jesus rides into Jerusalem. In fact, Jews are changing their Bibles so that it doesn't line up because every calculation has shown it was exactly to the day when Jesus enters into Jerusalem. And it was exactly four days after. If you count from Sunday, you will know where it will take you. That was the day when Jesus is having a meal with the disciples. And that is the same day he's taken to Pilate. And before that day is over, he is crucified. Exactly the day when they were killing Passover lambs in the entire nation of Israel. The Lamb of God that was slain was killed on that day. And guess what? In the Passover that Jesus did with the disciples, there was no lamb. It was only the bread and the cup because he was the Lamb of God. <laughs> Pastor Moniki, I want you to watch this. And so, the Passover lamb has been celebrated 1,500 years. But this day is going to come to the culmination, the climax of the Passover feast never again to be observed in Israel. In fact, they say that after that Passover and the crucifixion of Jesus, the temple where the, ten, the, the curtain was torn from top to bottom and the Holy of Holies, anybody could access, that from that day, even when they offered sacrifices, the smoke never went up until the destruction of the temple. In 70 AD, there was no sacrifice that was accepted and the temple of, of Jerusalem has never stood until today. You know why? Because the one who was instituting the new Passover, the Lord's table has done the work. We don't need to go to any building. We don't need to go anywhere. And Jesus said, as you partake of the bread, remember that this was my body which was broken for you. And as you eat it, if there's anyone today whose body is broken by sickness and disease, whose body is broken by infirmity and cancer, today as you protect the Lord's table, I decree and declare by reason of the finished work at the cross of Calvary, by reason of the broken body, every cancer is broken, every infirmity is broken, every disease is broken. Today we design the Lord's body and as you partake of the Lord's body, I announce that you are healed. Come on, raise your hands right now. I decree that you have strength. I announce that every calamity from the pit of hell, every demonic spirit that has tried to cut short your life, that has tried to cut short your destiny, that has tried to cut short your progress, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, as your hands are lifted up, receive the healing touch of God. Receive the healing touch of God. God. Receive the healing touch of God. Come and pray the Holy Ghost. Oh, receive strength. 
Lakatalia Kanamazaya, Lerabosan to Kilakaya, Lakatalia Kanamazaya, Restoration in the name of Jesus, in the name of Kilakaya Kanamazaya, every shot of Kotata, Laren Wuko Paya Kanamazaya, Lakando Paren Kanamazaya, Loko Paya Kanamazaya, Lakando Poko Zekaya, Lorobo Shakata Kanamazaya, Lorobo Shantanaba Kanamazaya, Lerabo Shakoto Kanamazaka. Manto Copania Canama Zecata, Locopania Canama Zecanamazaya, Lorobo Santa Canama Zecata, Lorobo Santa Canama Zea, Larabasia Canama Canama Zagata, Manto Tonio Canama Zecata, La Catacapania Canama Zaya, Lorobo Santa Zea, Leca de Cadeca de Cata, Leca de Cadeca de Cata, Locopo Canama Conobo, Leca de Cadeca de Cata, Locopo Canama Zecata, La Cadeca. Kapania Kanabasa, Lorobo Shanta Kanabasa, Lekatapa Kanaba Kanabasa, Lorobo Shoto Kanabasa, Lakatapa Kanabasa. Today is the name of Shoto Kanabasa, Lakatapa Kanabasa, Lorobo Shoto Kanabasa, Manta Kanaba Kanabasa, 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 Are broken, cancer HIV broken. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You are healed. Jesus, his back beaten by a whip. That is called the cat of nine tails, which had broke bones and metal.
tied to it. And the Roman soldier would whip Jesus. His flesh would be left on the whip. His body is called cut of nine lives. His body lacerated, beaten until you could see his ribs. Why? For your healing. And today we design the Lord's body. And we tell every sickness and disease, pack up and leave. Pack up and go. We have nothing to do with sickness and diseases. We have nothing to do with every limitation that is coming from our generations. And in the name of Jesus, I decree today that your body is whole. Raise your hands everywhere and shout, I am healed. I am healed. And as we partake of the cup, <laughs> as we partake of the cup, the Bible says, when I see the blood, I shall pass over. The cup is the ransom by the blood of Jesus that was required for our sins. So that as we partake of the cup, we decree that we have been redeemed from the penalty of sin. We have been set loose and set free from the power of sin. And there's coming a day when we shall completely be taken away from the presence of sin. So as we partake of the camp, every sin, every limitation, everything the devil uses to try to keep you back, spirits that have followed you, weaknesses, today as you partake of the camp, the power of sin is broken. I said the power of sin is broken. Listen to me. The grace of God doesn't just save us. But the grace of God keeps us. So we are not saved. And we don't remain saved because we are strong. We remain saved because the grace of God keeps us. And today as you partake of the camp. Every weakness, every limitation, every power of sin. Kuanguka of your ovio. Kufanya usherati na mambo ambao tupendezi mungu. Today in the name of Jesus, we announce that the power of sin is broken over your life. I said the power of sin is broken over your life. I said the power of sin is broken over your life. You live in purity. You live in holiness. You walk in power. Can somebody say amen? Can we lift up our hands and give God a praise in the house of God? Hallelujah! Glory! Glory be to God! Glory be to God! 